Okay, in today's short video, I'm going to show you how to find out and confirm who an owner is of a property. Uh, usually, we download this at the point where somebody's agreed to do business with us, whether that's be a lease option or a below market value purchase. And we go on, we download this uh, title plan, it's called, which sh shows who the owner is of the property. And we also need to check the title plan of the property just to see if there's anything untoward in there that we need to be made aware of. We need to make sure the person we're dealing with has authority to sell the property and if they are the owners or not. Okay, so I'll show you how to do that. It's very simple. You can type into land registry into Google and then this is the one you want here. And then you click search property ownership information. Click this green button here. Very simple, straightforward to do. And you need to put the house number in here. And the postcode. I'm putting in a real life example. I actually need this title register for a lease option we've just agreed. So you'll get the benefit of seeing me and how I do this. So you'll see here the property is also a leasehold as well as freehold. So what, what you do need, what we really need on this is just the leasehold element because the owner that's selling the property has the leasehold on it. They don't actually have the freehold. It's quite common on flats to have leasehold and freehold. On houses, it's not as common, um, but this is a particular house in question. It's a two-bed terrace property, and uh, to see it's got a leasehold on it is not a massive shock. It does happen on, on some properties, and um, uh, usually uh, the freehold is owned by another company sometimes or another person who charges ground rent to the leaseholder. It's usually quite a nominal amount as well. Okay, so we'll click on information available. Okay, so it shows three documents here. And the one, only one we're interested in, in this particular case, is the title register. So you click the title register. As you can see, there's a cost of £3 for this one. Click purchase. And then you need to log in. I'm just going to pause this just while I put my uh, financial information in because the next page, once I've logged in, will ask you to for your credit card details or payment details. Okay, so I've just logged in. Uh, so once you've logged in, you need to create an account if you haven't already and um, log in and it gives you the option then to go to the checkout. And then you need to use uh, one of these forms of payment. So I'll just go ahead, put that in, and then. Okay, so we process a payment, and uh, automatically you get sent to this page, and you just need to click on Title Register, and it will download it to your system automatically. And then we can go ahead and view the title register. So let me show you a few things we need to look out for on this particular document. Okay, a few things that you need to be aware of is this particular number up here relates to the property in question. It's quite an important piece of information that when you're when the paperwork's dispersed by the solicitors, this will have this document number will be on a lot of the paperwork. 
and the full address of the property. Just check that all correlate to the information you've got. The price they purchased the property for and importantly who the owner is. And in that case it's a joint ownership. So you need consent from both people. If one person is just trying to sell the property to you, then you need the consent of this other person. You need to make sure that's the case because you could get the situation where somebody's trying to sell a property without informing somebody else. And once it gets into solicitors, it's all going to fall apart because the other person hasn't agreed to it. So you need to bring, if you don't know about another person at this stage, you need to be going back to the person you're dealing with and mentioning this person if they consent to it. Okay. So the property register, it will show you the uh, who owns it. Um, it shows you the... Remember we said it's a lease, it's got a lease, this property. Well, the lease term is 999 years from May the 1st, 1886. Um, so anything less than sort of 70 years um, with a lease shorter than 70 years, properties you'll struggle to get a, le um, a mortgage on. Uh, so that will give you some um, indication of why somebody might be desperate to sell it or why they might want to enter into a certain arrangement such as a lease option uh, because they may only be able to get a cash buyer for this particular property. So you need to be very careful and just see uh, with the lease that that does affect the value and um, you can get them to give you a, a quotation from the freeholder as to how much it is to extend the lease. Uh, usually it's not that expensive outside of London. Inside of London it's very very expensive on certain properties so just there are just a few things to just bear in mind um, but that one looks okay and what we're looking for is looking for anything suspicious in any of these boxes anything that might flag up uh, we can flag up these issues earlier with solicitors obviously it's a solicitor's job to make sure that these um, uh, that th these that this titles check properly, they'll do that, do all that. But we can speed the process up, and also spot things prior, um, which saves everybody a whole load of time. So it shows who owns the absolute title, the price that was paid on the eighth of April, twenty fourteen. Okay, so that's good. So all looks good to us. What we're looking for as well, we're looking for things like charges. So there'll be a category C on there sometimes, and if there's a charge, a res registered charge. If there was a mortgage on the property, there would be a charge. In first charge would be the lender. But you can tell this property was unencumbered and is owned absolutely by these people here, free and clear, with no charges on, because there's no um, no sign of it on on here so we're good to go with this particular deal and this will go off we can print this off and send this off to solicitors or we can download it and send it via email so that's how you download a title register and confirm ownership